Hi guys, this is Camilla Schaffner and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're talking about my most favorite meal of the day, healthy dinner. To me, dinner is the only time where I can actually sit down and relax. A lot of the time we rush our breakfast, desperately trying to make it right, and most often than not, lunch is a bit of a blur. So. I think dinner to me personally means that I'm relaxed, I can control what I'm eating, I don't have to be rushed, I can be measured, I can understand what, I, what is in front of me and most importantly I can really taste the flavor of food, which is very important, especially if you're trying to lose weight. When you slow down and start really understanding the textures, the flavors, the level of seasoning, then you can really enjoy your food. So today uh, we have a great pleasure filming at probably one of my most favorite, one of my most favorite restaurants around the world, I'd say, the gorgeous Ivy. Ivy to me is, you know, one of my go-to places simply because I love the unique combination of beautiful atmosphere and healthy food. To me, that's the most important thing. So thank you very much to Ivy for allowing us to film this beautiful food and I hope you guys enjoy it. I personally love starters because usually people go for things that not necessarily need to be present in a multi-course dinner, but if you're taking care of your weight or you're trying to manage your weight successfully, starters can really help you. And the way to go about this is to order a starter, especially if you're ordering dessert or planning to order dessert that is completely vegetable based. Having vegetables as a starter still sort of entertains your palate, but it's high in fiber and it means that it will fill you up very quickly. And that's exactly what we want to achieve, that full, comfortable fullness that fullness that is still sort of allowing us to indulge a little bit more. However, we're full, not with hydrogenated fats or deep fried stuff, we're full on beautiful vegetables that are colorful, high in fiber and are good for us. Now, everybody's favorite part of dinner is definitely main course. People really, really look forward to the, towards their main courses and I think everybody should. And you know what, let's talk about everybody's favorite food from kids to women, men, anybody, everybody loves to eat a good burger. And a lot of the time at the clinic people ask me, is it a healthy food? It's not unhealthy, it can be very healthy, depending of course, you know, on the restaurant where you're eating it. Well, today we're at the Ivy, so we're having their famous Ivy burger. Burgers can be very healthy, depending on what cut of meat is used to make the actual burger. So if we're using a lean steak mince, then it's a very healthy way to eat your red meat, which is full of iron. My tip for people who want to manage their weight successfully is to skip the french fries, especially if you're planning to eat burger in its entirety. Uh, french fries, they're not really conducive of health, weight loss, weight management, simply because they're deep fried sometimes a couple of times. So very high in calories that are not really high in any nutrients. So we don't really need them. And my biggest tip that I can give to people is to substitute your uh, French fries with things that you can also use as dipping utensils into your ketchup. Because in the end of the day, it's not about the ketchup, it's about the French fries. So I like to use green beans or I like to use a little tender stem broccoli and dip it into some sort of sauce, whether it's a, you know, it's a ketchup or a little bit of a low fat mayonnaise, that's absolutely fine. Burger is delicious with the brioche bun, but what I like to do, I like to get rid of the bottom part, take it out and just eat one part of the bun. That way we're slashing at least one portion of carbohydrates out of the whole meal and we're still having a burger. A lot of the time people ask me what is my most favorite thing to eat for dinner. My most favorite thing to eat for dinner is a really, really big, incredible salad. I love salad. I'm a salad addict and I encourage people to be addicted to salad as well. Salad is just the best idea for dinner because it's light, 
ultimately it's full of nutrients it's full of greens potentially it's full of raw and cooked ingredients and it can be the most incredible thing to eat last thing during the day so here we have what, one of my most favorite things to eat in the evening big salad full of greens mixed greens where we have rocket leaves on the eve uh, microgreens giving us this fantastic shot of chlorophyll and of course my most favorite part of any meal good portion of lean protein here we have grilled chicken but it can be grilled salmon it can be even you know a couple of boiled eggs it can be tuna it can be lean steak it can be absolutely anything as long as you combine your protein with your fiber last thing for dinner then you can be rest assured that your weight management efforts are you know you're doing well here's a really nice tip for you you know whenever you ordering vegetables grilled vegetables that come with beautiful sauce like this one it's a, it's a truffle sauce don't pour sauce over it dip your fork in the sauce like so and then you use that fork to cut a little bit of asparagus and then you take your asparagus in. So that way you're saving hundreds of calories in terms of saturated fat, but you still get the flavors. That's a really good trick to remember. So one of the most fun parts of dinner time is of course drinking alcohol, alcoholic beverages. A lot of the time people think that um, consumption of alcohol will deter their weight loss efforts or their weight management efforts. It depends. It depends on the type of alcohol. And let's be honest, after a long day at work or you know, you've just put your children to bed and you want to relax, have a nice dinner, healthy dinner and one really lovely glass of wine, it can still be possible. You can still enjoy your wine or your alcohol of choice and maintain your healthy weight. However, there are some top tips to remember when choosing alcohol. Not, al not all alcohol is the same. And let's be honest, some is a little bit better than the other in terms of the weight loss um, efforts. So I always say stay away from very complicated, complex sugary cocktails because basically it's like drinking liquid dessert. And probably my, my most go-to all year round, even though we're, we're living in a beautiful rainy uh, London, I still like to drink rosé all year round. What I do to it, I dilute the caloric content a little bit by adding ice to it. And I know it sounds really strange because sometimes you just want to have a glass of red and a nice burger, but I like to dilute my alcohol a little bit with water content. That's why I drink rosé. And that's another way for you to manage your caloric um, content of your dinner. So the reason behind uh, alcohol dilution with ice or a mixer like soda water or slim lime tonic is simple chemistry. What we want to achieve, we want to achieve twice as much volume of liquid with less sugar and calorie content. That's why everything heavy on ice and mixer like slimline tonic, soda, even mineral water, sparkling mineral water, will always be a good addition to any alcoholic beverage. So, we're finally at dessert time. Pretty much everybody's favorite. But here's the thing, remember what we talked about, about our multi-course dinners, and is there, an, is there a point of having multi-courses? If you have a major sweet tooth and you really want to have something sweet, then skip your stutter and go easy on your carbohydrates and your alcohol consumption last thing in the evening so that you have space calorically for introduction of dessert after your dinner. Obviously, dessert is a very, very generic uh, term. It means many different things to many people it's best to go for the healthiest options. And for me as a clinician, the healthiest option will always be fresh fruit, berries, or something similar. So my most go-to dessert that I like to serve at dinner parties, or I like to order in restaurants, especially the Ivy, is berries frozen or fresh with a little bit of a frozen yogurt or vanilla ice cream. Exactly the same idea. We're wanting to get the most out of the fiber content, hydration content. We want it to be full of nutrients, 
vitamins, minerals, and we want it to be a fun dessert. And I think this is nothing short, but it's just an amazing experience where you have different textures of frozen berries with fresh berries and a little bit of frozen yogurt. If you still want to have something refreshing and cold, go for sorbets. Try to stay away from ice creams because they're incredibly high in saturated fats, dairy, Sometimes it's okay for certain people. Certain people don't tolerate it at all because of casein and lactose. Sorbase is just water, a little bit of fruit juice, and potentially a little bit of healthy sugar. What I would suggest, if you really want that hit of something sweet and chocolatey, have a decaffeinated cappuccino with a little sprinkle of cocoa powder. That's a really nice trick for people who love their chocolate for the flavor, not so much for the volume of food. Uh, another top tip to remember when we order food in restaurants, it doesn't really matter the volume as we now know with salads, you know, the more the better, you know, the more greens we have, the better our dinner is. I think what's really important um, in terms of remembering uh, when we order our dinner dishes is to think about the type of cooking methods. How are our dishes being cooked? If they're deep fried, if they're pan fried with a ton of really fatty sauces like butter and cream and something really that heavy, that probably is not going to be a great idea last thing in the evening, just before you're going to bed. So think about how you prepare your food when you have your dinner, especially if you want to have the healthiest dinner, if, if, if dinner time is the only time to control the quality of your food during the day. So. Obviously, always go for grilled, steamed, sauteed, poached, even oven baked foods versus deep fried or things that have been cooked and reheated a number of times afterwards. So obviously raw vegetables, salads, grilled proteins like chicken, salmon, steak, lean burgers, greens, greens, greens are always your top top priorities when it comes to dinner, especially if you want to make it healthy dinner. So I hope you guys now know that healthy dinner is not that difficult. It doesn't have to be complicated. You don't have to be cooking things that you've never heard before. So it, it can be very simple, but it has to be enjoyable. Even if you like burgers and things that are not supposedly supposed to be healthy, you can still eat them and maintain your healthy weight. You just need to do little tweaks here and there. And you know, don't be afraid to um, eat healthy very late in the evening. It doesn't have to be, you know, precisely 6 p.m. cut off for you to have your dinner. Have your dinner whenever you have a chance to have dinner, but have dinner and try to incorporate all the foods, all the healthy foods that you haven't had a chance to eat throughout the day. With special thanks to the Ivy in Richmond, one of my most favorite restaurants to dine, breakfast, lunch, or dinner.